rain, thunder, <laughs> lightning, and that is a hint to what is in this box. Um, so yeah, welcome to Diameter. My name's Cy Coburn, and these are my inline skates. So let's delve in and see what we got. We have the Rollerblade Lightning 90 millimeter, amazing colorway. Got the gray boot with the kind of bronze goldy frame going on, 90 mil, which is 280 millimeters, which is actually 11 inches. It says that on the frame. I didn't already know that. So yeah, today we are gonna look at first impressions of this new Rollerblade skate. Let's just take it out of the box. So yeah, I'm gonna give you a quick little rundown of what they come with, how they come out of the box, and then we're gonna throw them on my feet. And then we're gonna go for a little skate down the road. Okay, so first impressions of what the Rollerblade Lightning 90 looked like. I'm absolutely loving the fact that it's not a black boot, but it's a nice dark gray boot and you've got the, the buckles with a little tint of black, which match the the black liner and then it's just this gold bronzy frame which just pops out just makes them stand out really so if you're looking for a skate that isn't just a standard black skate and you want a bit more color this is the one so let's talk about the technicalities of the skate they come with a new memory buckle this is one of my favorite features about these skates instead of it just being a normal sort of buckle that clicks into place this one you can actually adjust here to how long you want this bit and then you clip that round and then there's three indents there which this part of the buckle actually clips in and it keeps it really really nice and secure which is amazing and you've also got that on the 45 degree angle right there so that is a brand new feature to this skate they got the foot slider there in case you swipe out you don't want to damage your boot too much that's replaceable you can just unscrew that wheels Hydrogen SE, really good wheels. Rollerblade are renowned for that. Bearings, I think, I'm not actually sure. I need to check on the bearings. I imagine they're probably ABEC 9. So, but I will double check that. The liners, they come with a brand new Lightning liner, which looks pretty cool. It also, same as the Twister XT models, they've got lace holes actually in the liner at the top, which I think is a really good feature to have because it just keeps your ankle a bit more supported and in place so there you go nice premium liner they're always really good performance skate insoles and yeah that's as good as a a stock liner is going to get really you got your shock absorber there it is that's plentiful i think so but we'll we'll test that one out because that's a biggie for me is having good shock absorption in an urban slash free skate so that's the next topic what are these skates actually for so they're for like commuting it's like urban skating free skating you could even use them in a skate park um yeah if you're just getting from a to b recreational use if you're just going out for fitness if it's a nice sunny day like today you could possibly take them out or even if it's lightning because i've got the names on the box names on the tin no what's the, what's the saying uh Yes, yeah, that's what it says on the box. So if it's thunder and lightning, it's probably not a good idea to go skating with them, but you could. So so yeah, they got a multi use of, of things really, so it's whatever whatever takes your fancy. I guess they're not really it's not a speed skate, it's not an aggressive skate. Um it's more for just yeah, getting A to B, cruising about, jumping around, and yeah, just being out enjoying the sunshine and skating with your mates. Right, so you spoke about what these skates are for but who are these skates for they come with a break so they are good for beginners they're probably good for all levels to be honest beginners all the way up to advanced so yeah if you're the type of skater that wants to just go out and just cruise around these are probably going to be the skate for you so obviously these are the 90 mil version they do also come in an 80 millimeter and three by 110 setup as well so i guess the 80 might be recommended a bit more for beginners because the 90 are going to are going to be a little bit quicker um, and then obviously the 3x110 is going to be really quick so that's just down to personal preference and what type of skating you want to do so yeah i'd say they're a bit of an all-round skate 
for an all-round skater. So, yeah, let's see how these these bad boys get on. Rollerblade lightning! Woo! Let's go. Let's put them on. Let's see how they feel. Whew. So already you can feel that premium liner. It is super comfortable, super supportive. They're really good, strong materials. It's a good thing with rollerblade. They always make nice, good, strong, uh, what are they called, liners. So I do like the fact that you can lace it up on the boot first there, and then you lace it up through the liner like you do on the Twister XTs because that just gives it a bit more support around the ankle which is really nice so the next little feature is this buckle so obviously now whereas before it used to kind of clunk into place now you're kind of finding the right tightness and you're just clicking it into place and that feels nice and secure especially round here now because I've done that nice and tight even around the top of my ankle it's feeling nice and snug so so far so good so I just checked the other one on yeah first impressions of the comfort out the box is banging so I don't really expect much less from Roller Blade with that because as I said before they just make really good good liners interested to see how these feel and yeah like I said you can just adjust the buckle to how tight you want it so they feel good to go that 90 millimeter set already feels different to what I'm used to with the 80 mil maybe because my skates are old so they're a bit more rocked because the front and back wheel are a little bit more worn down so these are feeling quite flat at the moment but they feel nice so let's go Okay, so the wheels are feeling nice and grippy. That long frame gives you a good bit of balance, especially coming downstairs like that. Yeah, baby. Right, so next up, gonna give it a little impact test. Let's see what they like to jump in, land in and jump in. Let's, let's go. Yep. Boy, good. Feeling strong, feeling nice. The shock absorber didn't feel a thing on that one. It's not a massive gap, but Normally with like an urban or a free skate, even a little jump like that, you'd feel it, but yeah, it actually felt pretty good. So happy with that. Right, we're gonna get a cheeky little 0.5 angle. Coming in hot. Boosh! Tana! See you later. Okay, so next thing we're gonna try stairs. This is a small set, but I get scared of stairs, especially going forward. So I'm gonna start on something small. We're gonna work our way up. So let's see how they, they go with that. Ooh, lovely. Try again. And... Oh my God. That's why I don't like going forwards. Let's do that again. Let's see how they go. Yeah. That's fine. It's all good. Okay, so the wheels, they're obviously hydrogen. Top quality wheels from Roller Bay. You can really feel it on the first skate, on the first sort of impressions with these skates. Nice and solid, nice and smooth. They're going over like most grounds pretty well, especially like the bumpy ones. Impacts, they absorb it pretty well as well. So yeah, so far so good. They look nice. I like the black colorway of them. They just kind of, they go with the skate pretty well. So yeah, as for the wheels, 10 out of 10, I'd say for them so far. So let's go check out some more stuff. Okay, right. So I'm gonna have a look now at responsiveness from the skate. See what they like for turns, tight turns, long turns, one foot sort of stuff, and just see how they feel beneath my feet. Just going left and right, basically. Just seeing if they react quick enough to what I'm doing. So, they do a nice little tight right turn. Yep, that feels really good. I think with the long frame, when you really lean into it, it really pushes you around that corner quite well. So as soon as you start leaning in, yes, that feels lovely. And then, woo, a bit of wizardy stuff. So yeah, they actually feel pretty good on turns. Let's try a nice 
big long wide turn. Yeah, they're feeling nice and supportive. There's no pressure points, which I'm loving. Absolutely nothing at all. No crush on my toes. There's no pressure point now. I've got quite a wide foot. So these skates feel really good right now. They're almost, I'd say, between the Pro X and the Twister. I'd say they're kind of a, an in-between skate for those. So yeah, they actually feel really good on turns. Um, and the bearings, obviously nice and quick. They're always gonna be when they're brand new. And they do come with ABEC nines. So double check that. But yeah, well, they like it backwards. Nice and solid. And yeah, just having that 90 mil frame, just having that, that longer frame just gives you way more stability, especially going like straight on at stuff. Your feet just feel like you're going in that direction as such. So yeah, I'm liking them. They feel good. Okay, one thing I did forget to mention is because you have that longer frame, even though the skate's responsive, the frame's not as responsive. So it's very one way. If you're gonna turn into something, you need to make sure your skates are going that way. Whereas when you've got a shorter frame, you've got a bit more play. I guess because the wheels are brand new as well, so they're flat. So trying to turn like quick, you have to really push into it. I mean, you can do it, but if I had my twisters on with the 80, I could probably do that a little bit easier. I guess once the wheels wear down a bit, they're gonna feel a little bit more rocked because the front and the back wheel should eventually get a bit smaller and I'll be a bit more on those middle wheels. But yeah, just for now, they feel a bit harder to turn on, but skating along, amazing stuff. We'll definitely get a good bit of speed off them, I reckon. If you're charging at a trick or if you want to go fast. Woo. So yeah quite good for power slides as well yeah baby Woo. it's a little bit nippy so we're going to look at actual jumping now we're going to hop up onto these blocks go one two three and then hopefully jump off that's going to give a good test of a what the shock absorb is like also be the weight of the skate they actually feel pretty light i'm not sure exactly how heavy they are um but i'm sure you can find a video where someone's weighed them because people do that um but yeah they feel like they're going to be nice and light. But having that 90 frame can make them feel a little bit more clunkier. So we'll see how this goes. Un, dun, toi. Just got to bear in mind to just jump a little bit higher because you've got that, that higher frame. Not much, but... Whee. Okay, shock absorber again. Feeling banging, feeling good. Whew. Okay, so good at picking up speed. Nice and comfortable. Jump, jump. Oh my God, sketchy way. Okay, that was a bit dodge. They felt solid, but I didn't. So that was purely me. Way. Woo. So better this time around. Let's do it. Attempt number two. Up we go, up we go, up we go. Yes, better. Yes, they feel solid feel really good. Again, I'm going to say it's the frame, having that longer frame, especially on landings, you just, you land, it just suckers you into the floor. So yeah, so far, so good. Okay, I'm going to give it another little jump, just to the smaller block, just to see, just for good measure, really. Whee. All right, it's all good, nice and light in the air. So yeah, I'd say for jumps, I'm feeling all right at the minute. So no complaints, again, no pressure points. There's no hard landing. I don't feel like it's going through my heel into my back or anything. So yeah, shock absorbers, yeah, spot on, I'd say. So, I mean, that's not the best test in the world, but you're not gonna be jumping off things too high on these, so. Yeah, shock absorbers, shocktastic baby, yeah. If you live in England or somewhere similar where sometimes you get floor, which is 
like this and it's actually the worst thing known to man you want your skates to go over it confidently so we're going to give this a go but thrown in the mix we've got some blind man run up which just in case you don't know what that is it is for blind people when they have their sticks it's the top of stairs if you just started skating you'll see that a lot so there's some of them at the top of the stairs and then obviously you've got the stair ride into blind man at the bottom and then into this absolute monstrosity of a road here i'm dealing with one two sort of three different kind of surfaces so i mean these are built for the streets so let's see if they can defeat the streets look at that Woo! don't feel a thing uh yeah baby you know back in a cheeky little close-up oh my god okay so round three for the amazingly bad surfaces Ugh! yep so yeah caught me off guard before but i mean look at it it's gonna happen but in general these are going over the rough surfaces pretty well so a good little tip is with this sort of stuff you just got to commit to it just lean back a little bit and just ride it out and hopefully you don't go like I did then so yeah surface check so far so good we're going to do some more of these we're going to find some crap surfaces and see if I can fall over got some logs mud ah oh, look at that easy yeah. so we're going to try the cobbles again if you're trying to skate on cobbles you've probably gone wrong somewhere so but this is just to show to you how good these skates are, how good the 90 millimeter is, and how much of rough ground you can actually skate across. So let's give it a go. Oh my God, but it works just about. So it's not gonna get much rougher than that. So double thumbs up. But gonna give it a little bit of airtime test. Woo, shoot out of here, so let's go. So they're good for getting speed. There we go. Boom. Good. Coming in hot, nice and quick. And away we go. Oi. Right, we're back at a stair set. So I did a smaller one before, so I'm going to check them out on a slightly larger set. They're not the steepest, but they're a good, decent size set of steps. So I'm going to go forwards first and then try a fakie one. See how we get on. Oh my god, I only just fitted through that. Right, let's go. Yeah, really nice. Keeping your feet nice and secure, nice and flat on the floor. Didn't feel out of control, so let's go with the fakie. Backwards stair ride. Let's see how they feel for that then, shall we? Yeah, nice. I'm not the biggest stair rider in the world, but that felt pretty solid coming down there then. Felt like I could have gone a bit longer. So, stair rides, double thumbs up again. Way. Let's see what they're like for 360s. Way. Very nice. Switch 360. Way. What are they like running upstairs? Way. Good. And then coming back round. Way going down fakie. Way. Way. Right, so yeah, first impressions of them. It's getting quick, it's getting slow, jumping around. They feel really nice, they feel really solid. You've got a good energy transfer. Um, these are definitely a good skate to just be out and about in the streets. Just kind of doing your thing, whether it's recreational skating, whether it's like fitness skating, it's going a bit quicker, whether it's jumping around like more urban sort of free skate sort of thing so yeah they're a bit of an all-round street skate essentially so they're a model blade doing good good job on these i'm loving the colorway still gopro time i'm now going to give a quick little speed test so a nice little hill bomb let's just see how we get on shall we see how uh see what the vibrations are like Woo! Yep. I feel 
good, nice and solid, super smooth. Yeah, really good, felt nice and controlled then. Nothing wobbling about under my feet. There was no noises, no clacking. Nothing felt like it was coming loose, so yeah, go nice and quick. Yeah, they feel nice and strong and uh, they hold your speed pretty well. Okay, so just steadily cruising now, so I wanna see what they're like for getting speed. Nice and quick. Good on the steady pushes at speed as well. Woo. Yeah. Okay, so it's now starting to rain. They're actually good for slides. So, give you a quick rundown of what I felt about these skates since I've had them on. So I've had them on now for about three hours. They still feel really comfortable. They've been great on the streets with the vibrations, with like different surfaces, jumping they felt great, the shock absorber has been brilliant. The wheels are nice and solid, nice and grippy. The frames held up really well. And yeah, they're just an all around great urban free skate. Um, they'd also be good for like marathons as well, I feel, because the comfort has been amazing. I've had no pressure points since I put them on. I've had to tighten them up, but other than that, yeah, they felt really good. They look amazing, they look nice. So yeah, I think these could quickly become my favorite skate, so we will see. But the rain's coming in hard now, so I'm gonna have to go. So peace out.